Hey there guys, Ian here today and bring you another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this one's actually about lighting scenes. Um, quite a few people have asked me how I light my scenes and I thought I'd go through a couple of techniques uh, to kind of really bring out your models or logos, intros, uh, whatever you like. Um, so here we have a basic logo and I'm actually using the Dare logo because as of uh, two, three days ago, um, I got invited to join uh, the Dare Arts. Um, normally I thought I wouldn't join another team because um, I didn't really like um, kind of teams because it kind of just put a lot of pressure on uh, getting work out and everyone was kind of childish but joining this chat like instantly I knew kind of like I was quite welcome everyone was friendly and really nice and kind of happy to see me so yeah it's been nice um, I know a lot of people do kind of like road to dare but I just got invited out of the blue so it was a nice surprise but anyway that's how I'm using their logo so first thing you always want to do when kind of lighting a scene is make sure under options you have enhanced OpenGL turned on. Without it on, um, it can look quite plain. Um, so if you just turn it on, uh, it kind of shows a bit more realistic, uh, kind of a bit more realism, and it kind of gives you a better idea of what it'll actually look like. So a lot of what I do is actually with area lights um, when lighting scenes, and they can be found under the light tab here and you can go down and click area light. Now, since the lights always kind of want to be facing the logo, um, a good technique um, when doing this would always uh, to have a target on your light, so it will always face your object. So if you right click on the light, go to Cinema 4D tags, and you can go down to target. And I'm just going to actually drag in my logo into the target object and since the target is actually here uh, it kind of just mucks up but if you press E on your keyboard or the move tool here you can actually move it around and as you can see it always faces your logo and you can see here straight away with um, OpenGL rendering you get a better view if I was to turn it off here um, you don't really get the highlights that you do um, with it on you can also add in any of these uh, to kind of give yourself um, kind of a better idea of what you're working with. So whenever I do this kind of, uh, whenever I'm working with something like this, I always think um, mainly I start with kind of three point lighting. And what that means is you kind of have three, um, if I just turn all these back on, I kind of have three lights um, all of which um, surround my object. So what I want is kind of one up at the top here, and then I'll drag another one over to this side and maybe down a bit. And also, if we go back to this view, um, just going to drag it forward a bit. And also another one uh, which I like to have um, over the back here. It's always nice to work in um, all four views because here you kind of get an idea of where everything is in 3D space. Here you can kind of see where all of them are lined up and the top view you can actually see where they are positioned here as well. So I'm going to have it down here and I'm going to move it down a tiny bit. As for the actual lights themselves because this probably won't look the greatest, especially as there's no shadows, as you can see here, uh, nothing too special. So straight away, if you select all three lights, go to shadow and area, you'll see some of the shadows come in here, and if we render out, looks a bit better. Um, the next thing we want to do is make it seem a little bit more realistic, so if you go over to details, and at the bottom here we have a fall off, I'm going to change that to inverse square. And what this is going to do is actually create a realistic light fall off. Um, so if the light is closer, it will be brighter. If it's further away, it will be less bright. 
and that's going to really make it seem a bit more realistic and what I'm going to do here is actually change the cap segments to maybe one, maybe two even um, no not the segments, the actual radius, just so we get a bit of light bouncing off here and this is starting to look quite nice um, I'm going to move this one down a little bit as well and kind of just move around making sure like the whole objects lit quite nicely uh, we have some highlights some shadows um, now you kind of want to start playing uh, with a bit of color so maybe this one will have the tiniest bit of blue and we will bring down the brightness a tiny bit and it's quite nice just to keep rendering it out um, at the moment I have ambient occlusion turned on if I turn that off It'll render a bit faster. Um, ambient inclusion kind of just makes the shadows slightly more realistic. You can turn on, you can make anti-aliasing best, and for now I'll keep it at two by two. And you can also turn on uh, global illumination, and especially just for testing, I keep everything on low and minimal, just so it kind of renders um, faster. But this scene probably doesn't need it, so I'll just turn that off. Um, so what we have here is so far a pretty nice, pretty nice scene. Um, what we can do is maybe on this top light here, um, add a bit of warmth, so a kind of very slight yellow, and try that out. So it's starting to look pretty nice here. And this is pretty much my basic setup for almost every scene that I do. Um, it's a way that gets really nice results and you can you can kind of bring, uh, make kind of the back a bit dimmer if you don't want this to have too much light uh, coming at it. Um, that light's a bit, a bit like a kind of fill shadows light. Um, it's kind of designed to uh, bring a bit of detail here, but not too much. Um, another way you can light is actually with um, what a lot of people do and use the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit. A lot of people just use this overhead softbox, but I like to use the normal softbox here, which, if we zoom out a bit, is this here. Uh, I like this because um, it has this feature so you can actually move around um, your object a bit more. So what I'm going to do is actually increase the height a bit and so it's a bit more rectangular rather than square. And I'm going to change this to gradient and what that does is change the uh, color well the pattern on this and makes it slightly more like what you get in a studio. So we can try this just with one light and the good thing about the Grayscale Gorilla Kits is they give you these really nice highlights and this is from um, the actual luminance material. Also it's a good um, practice just at the bottom here to turn off scene by camera and that way when you render out um, you see we don't see the softbox at all. So again, I'll just bring another one in and kind of put it at the top here. Maybe I'll change the brightness down a tiny bit. And the good thing with the OpenGL rendering is you do get a good idea of um, what this is actually going to look like, um, especially where all the highlights will be. And it's looking pretty nice. So we might want to add the global illumination back in just to kind of get a bit more realism with the light bounces. And this gives a really nice um, look here. And that's this is simply with two lights. Again, you could add that um, third light a bit further back um, around here to kind of get the highlights in on uh, the little back bits. So everything's kind of lit slightly. And with this, I'll just um, increase the width and try this.
So we have some really nice highlights here. Uh, you can see a bit of the detail here if we rotate round. Um, you can see we get a bit of detail with the sides but not too much and it's kind of blowing it out. Um, really nice highlights and overall looks quite nice. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. Um, so with the original one you might want to kind of boost, boost the light up a bit and maybe with the second one a tiny bit as well. Try rendering that and just find something where you're happy with. So I think this is a bit too bright so you bring it back down. Um, it's a lot of trial and error. You can tint the lights a bit again with a bit of blue, um, something that's just a bit off white um, to give a bit more realism. But overall, this is kind of how I light all my scenes, and it gives a really nice look. So I hope you've learned something, and I'll see you soon.